Are you ready to nail party? Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails, and today I'm so excited to demonstrate for you a short almond nail using soft pink sculpt and XO beige nail lacquer. Now let's get started. Sanitize your hands and your clients' hands with Sanitize, 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 available in peach and gardenia. Remove the polish with conditioning polish remover and a towelette, available in peach and gardenia. I will be filing the product flush with the natural nail using a long-lasting 100 Zebra. First I'm going to score the edges. So I'm going to go around the cuticle. It doesn't cut the cuticle area. As the product grows out, we need to do fill-ins every two weeks. First I'm going to file the product flush with the natural nail. Make sure you get it nice and smooth. Go all the way around the cuticle area. Get all the way into the little groove here. Get it nice and smooth. It's very important to get the product really flush with the natural nail before applying new product. For one, to make sure it looks really good and also to make sure that there's no lifting. If there's any lifting around the edge, if it doesn't file off, then you would take your nippers and you would nip off that lifted area and then file it down. Same procedure as doing acrylic. Nice and smooth. Down on the side, across the top. Down on the other side. Get it nice and smooth all the way over to the nail groove. Now I'm going to etch the new growth area with my 100 grit purple terminator disposable etcher. Go with the way the nail grows. Push back the cuticle. Make sure there's no shine on the natural nail. Proper etching eliminates 75% of lifting. Make sure you get all the way into the corners, into the nail groove. Put little scratches in the nail. This gives a nice etch surface for the product to adhere to. Push back the cuticle. Get all the way into the nail groove, push back the cuticle. Now I'm going to use the tritium stone to push back the cuticle. If there's any skin that's grown up on the nail, this can also cause lifting. So make sure there's no skin on the nail. Push back the cuticle. Dust off the nails with a plastic manicure brush. Make sure there's no dust on the nail as this can also cause lifting.
Apply non-lifting primer to the new growth area, only to the natural nail. Apply your primer sparingly. Don't get any on the cuticle area. I like to dab off my brush a little bit on the towelette, so that way I don't get too much primer on the nail. And then wipe it off before I put it back into my bottle so I don't contaminate my primer. I'm going to let the primer dry. This kills the germs on the nail and dries out the oils in the nail. I will be applying Stuck On You Bonder Gel Base to the new growth area and the nail bed. Everywhere I'm going to be applying Sculpt, I cover it with the Stuck On You. This promotes adhesion. Make sure you get it all the way down to the cuticle area. Make sure to go into the nail groove here, but don't touch the skin. Cure 45 seconds in an LED or 2 minutes in a UV. Pour a small amount of Shape It Up nail liquid into a Dappen dish. This will be to keep your brush moist. I will be using Soft Pink Sculpt. And the way you determine the size of the bead is by the new growth area. So I'm going to squeeze out a bead this size and then just a sixteenth of an inch more for the nail bed. Scoop it out. Place the round side towards the cuticle area. It's very important to use the proper brush and I will be using the Sculpt number no. 6 wide and this is made out of Kalinsky Red Sable because the brush needs to be firm enough to pad out your Sculpt. Moisten your brush holding your brush like the angle of a pencil. Push it towards the cuticle area and then pat it flush around the cuticle area. It's very important to get a perfect cuticle area before you continue. Don't go on to the rest of the nail until your cuticle area is perfect. Then once you have the cuticle area how you like it, again keeping your brush the angle of a pencil with the softer touch, pat it from nail groove to nail groove. You will be building the arch in your nail. Then you start blending it into the nail. Now you have your fill. Again, measure the new growth area and then add a sixteenth of an inch extra for the nail bed. Squeeze it out and scoop it. Place the rounded edge towards the cuticle. Moisten your brush. Angle it like a pencil. Get your cuticle area just how you like it. Get it flush with the natural nail, but make sure you're not too close to the cuticle. You don't want to touch the skin. And you're using pretty firm pressure around the cuticle. And then your pressure is going to get less and less as you move out the nail. Nail groove to nail groove, building up the arch. Then you're going to start pulling it 
and then stroking it out, blending it in with the nail. Get your next bead. Rounded edge towards the cuticle. Moisten your brush. Angle your brush like a pencil. I'm using firm pressure around the cuticle area so I can get the product really flush with the natural nail. And then softer pressure, side to side, building up my arch, and then pulling it out and stroking it out towards the tip of the free edge to blend into the nail. Create your bead, place it onto the nail bed, the round edge towards the cuticle, pat it out, again your brush is like a pencil and you're using firm pressure, get the product flush with the natural nail, side to side, nail groove to nail groove. Get it right in that corner there. Then you're going to pull and then stroke it out, blending it into the nail. So you've created the cuticle area, the arch, the stress area, all in one bead. And pat it out. Get your cuticle area. Get it all the way into the corner there, side to side. I use more pressure down towards the cuticle and then ease up on my pressure as I go out the nail. So it's a softer touch and start pulling it. Stroking it out. Blending it in. Get it nice and even. Now I'm going to cure the entire hand, 60 seconds in an LED or 2 minutes in a UV. Clean off the nails using Clean It and a Wipe It. Before I do my 5 steps in filing, I'm going to shorten the nails. I'm going to shorten the nails about as much as they grew. So just go straight across. I will be filing in five steps using my long-lasting 100 Zebra. My first step in filing, I'm going to file straight out from the nail groove on the left. And I do this on all the nails. My second step in filing, I'm going to file straight out from the nail groove on the right. And I do this on all the nails. My third step in filing, I'm going to reshape my almond. So I will be filing in from the sides. Yeah. 
after I get my almond started, then I'll smooth it out. I'm using a good amount of pressure, reshaping that almond. And then once I get it started, then I can go in and I can just finish it up. Go from the underneath and just smooth out the edges. Step number four, I'm going to file the top of the nail in the cuticle area. Long strokes down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. And go around the cuticle area, get the product flush with the natural nail. There should be a little road, product, natural nail, cuticle. Place the edge of your file into the road. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the side. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Nice long strokes. Go around your road. Get flush to the natural nail. Nice long strokes. Hold the finger secure. Nice long strokes. When you file in long strokes, it's really easy to file and it doesn't make you tired. You can file the nail really fast. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. So keep a nice arch in the nail. Get that cuticle area nice and smooth. Down on the side, cross the top. Down on the other side. Nice smooth cuticle area. Go around the cuticle. Fifth step in filing, turn the client's hand around and look at the nails from the angle they will be looking at for the next two weeks. And bevel down towards the tip. Looking at your shape, always working towards that almond. Bevel down towards the tip and do this on all the nails.
I'm going to buff the nails with my clean finish buffing file. Nice long strokes down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. Go around the cuticle area, smooth out the tip. Down on the side, across the top, down on the other side. Smooth out the tip. Get it nice and smooth. Then do this on all the nails. Now I'm going to clean out from underneath my nails with my medium coarse barrel drill bit. Have the client go wash their hands with antibacterial soft soak and a plastic manicure brush. I will be applying flawless foundation. Nice long strokes. Apply it nice and thin. Cap the tip. Cap the tip. Nice long strokes. I go almost to the cuticle, not all the way to the cuticle because I don't want my gel polish to get thick around the cuticle area. Only when I'm doing the artificial nails do I do this. When I'm doing a natural nail, I go all the way to the cuticle area. Cure 45 seconds in an LED or 2 minutes in a UV. I will be applying Cashmere Beige Gel Against Gel Polish. Nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Cap the tip. Cap the tip. Nice long strokes. Cap the tip. I love this color. It looks so pretty, so natural. Nice long strokes. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Apply your second coat. Nice long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Goes on so nice. And you never have to worry about wrinkling or crinkling. The Gel Against is such an amazing gel polish. It's so easy to apply. You never have to worry about it. What you see going into the lamp is what you get coming out of the lamp. Nice long strokes. Cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Apply flawless finish, super high gloss top gel, especially for gel against gel polish. Keeps it really shiny. Nice 
Nice long strokes. Capping the tip. Nice long strokes. Cure 45 seconds in an LED or 2 minutes in a UV. Clean off the nails with Clean It and a towelette. Apply conditioning cuticle oil available in peach and gardenia. Now we have the Sculpt Fill-In using Soft Pink Sculpt and Cashmere Beige Gel Polish. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.